All right, if, for those who don't know, Martin Mayhew made the Super Bowl uh, with the 49ers. He in a front office, not sure exactly what his role is, but he did a 30-minute phone interview with the Detroit Free Press, and he talked about, um, you know, a few things, but the thing that stuck out to me was, to, and everybody else that read the article or the interview, and I'll link that article in the description, it said he, one of his biggest mistakes was not drafting Aaron Donald, and he said no knock on Ebron, but maybe Donald would have pushed him over the edge that year. So let's talk a little bit about Martin Mayhew. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. Uh, if you got a question, inquiry, sponsorship, or a video request, or you can hit me up on uh, Twitter too. Twitter and email the fastest ways. But uh, but yeah, you know, obviously that's the one that stands out. Um, Two-time uh, defensive player of the year. I think he was NFL MVP. You don't get that off. You don't get that often. I think. I think he was NFL MVP. I don't think he was MVP. Maybe he was. Maybe he wasn't. But he was a good player, and it was opportunity. And, and what made it so bad? Let me say this. What made it so bad about not drafting Aaron Donald is that they didn't. Re they didn't renew. I think a fourth or fifth year option on Nick Fairley, and then Dominic and Sue was uh, trending to be a free agent. And I pretty much knew. I think they knew they wasn't going to be able to resign a Dominic and Sue. Because remember, they tried to re-sign him the year before. They didn't re-sign him. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't come to a contract term. So he ended up going to Miami the next year. And that year, they had one of the top defenses under Terrell Austin. So if you add Aaron Donald to that defense, you know, maybe maybe the Cowboys don't beat the Lions. You know what I'm saying? But defense, the defense was pretty good that year for uh for the Detroit, for the Detroit Lions. But Aaron Donald could have made it that much greater. But what made that so bad? Taking a tight end at, at whatever it was, 9 or 10, and Eric Ebron, and knowing that he had one of the highest drop rates in all the college football, if not the highest, was that you knew that you was losing Nick Fairley and you knew you was losing Dominican Sue, and you could have plugged an immediate replacement there. And, and maybe we not talk about Matthew Stafford not having no playoff wins. You put Aaron Donald on that defense. I mean, I think that defense, I think that team has an opportunity, or that defense has an opportunity to advance probably to the NFC Championship game. But the bad thing about that team was the offensive coordinator, Joe Lombardi, was terrible. And, you know, that was that was the bad thing about the situation. So um, that was one of the biggest misses in Detroit Lions uh, history. But you got to kind of trace back on how bad this organization is from the top to the bottom. It's because when, when the Lions were on 16, and I've said this before in many videos, but I don't know, everybody don't watch every video. When the Lions were on 16, they didn't. They didn't. They promoted within the following season. Mark Mayhew and Tom Lewan were working with Matt Millen on some of those bad draft picks they took, and I think a lot of people forget that. They the Lions went on 16. They didn't burn the house down. They promoted within. Mark Mayhew got promoted. He was helping Matt Millen make some of them terrible draft picks like Charles Rogers over Andre Johnson and Demarcus Ware, and some of those picks of that nature. And Mike Williams. Mark Mayhew was there with him. Now, Mark Mayhew finessed Mr. Ford and basically saying that, hey, that was Matt Millen pick. I had nothing to do with it. You give me a chance, I'll do better than Matt Millen. And pretty much, that's pretty. That's how Mark Mayhew got the job. All right? Mark Mayhew, was they promoted within after going on 16. And I think that represents everything you need to know about the ownership of the Detroit Lions. They terrible. Maybe Mr. Ford or, or Martha Firestone Ford, whatever she want to call herself. You know? That's what that's that's what kind of need to be said. You know, they promoted within after going all 16. Now, you know, like I said before, it's a, you know one of the reasons. And you go back to the old defensive line coach, can't remember his name. He did an article, I think this past season, which is last year, and he said that he begged Martin Mayhew to take Aaron Donald, and they need to take Aaron Donald. But Martin Mayhew and the uh, the general manager, the front office crew, didn't want to take Aaron Donald because he was too short. And I guess they never heard of uh, John Randall or they didn't hear about uh, um, 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 Warren Sapp is who I'm looking for, Warren Sapp. So they wanted a big 6'4", 6'5", 6'6", defensive tackle. So they dismissed Aaron Donald based on size alone. And basically that's they, they, they told the defensive line coach that they wasn't drafting Aaron Donald because he was too short and too stubby. You know, didn't didn't really look at his film, didn't see if he was, he was special. And... Like I said before, Martin Mayhew was a defensive back in this league. He was a defensive back in this league. Let that sink in for a minute. 
he didn't know how to evaluate defensive backs, Aaron Berry, Bill Bidley. He sucked. You know what I'm saying? When it came to evaluating defensive backs in the draft, you know, he was just terrible. You know what I'm saying? He didn't believe in drafting defensive back high. The highest one he drafted was Darius Slay. But he didn't believe on getting in, getting up there and drafting defensive backs. He was the same guy that the first pick he made was Calvin Johnson. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that was the first pick he made, or Matthew Stafford, one or two. But, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Martin Mayhew was, was what he was. I think he made the playoff two seasons with the Detroit Lions. He couldn't evaluate defensive play. He couldn't evaluate at all. He had some good hits. He had a lot of misses in the second round. But it's hard to miss when you draft it so high um, in the first round. But, you know, the Aaron Donald effect still affect Detroit Lions to this day. You knew you could be losing both your defensive tackles. And Nick Fairley had to really produce to that point because of injuries. He was injured, getting caught, you know, getting pulled over by the police and stuff of that nature. And Mar Mayhew just, just, like I said before, the dudes that they hire are just retarded, man. It's just no two ways around it. They're not very bright. You know, they're not very bright. The dudes that the Lions hire, you know, they they go, they chart off with of Matt Millen, right? Just going back that far. They start off with of Matt Millen. Matt Millen ain't never ran a football team in his life before. He do terrible. Then she go 0-16. Then, after going 0-16, they promote within and promote Lewan, who's more the capologist, and Mayu is the personnel guy. Okay? They run their course. Then they bring in Bob Quinn from an organization who never really draft well under Bill Belichick. You know who everybody know Bill Belichick is the head honcho. He the coach. He the he the uh, talent evaluator. He draft the players. You draft the little uh, cherry off the tree, off the cherry tree. And Bob Quinn ain't never did this job before in his life. So once again, the Lions just never really get it on far as general managers that have done it before. You know. They need to get somebody experienced. That's the key. Somebody that's built a championship team before, and they refuse. They refuse to do that. They truly refuse to do that. And you know, pretty much, Bob Quinn is on par to be, you know, to be what Mark Mayhew was. He still don't have a playoff win. The talent level with the Detroit, the Detroit, uh, the Detroit Lions ain't that good. Once again, he got some good picks in there. So did so did uh Martin Mayhew. He had some nice picks in there in the middle round. So like I said before, you know, Bob Quinn looking to be the pretty much same guy as Martin Mayhew is. You know, but to end it with that whole Aaron Donald thing, that pissed me off. And also you had Odell Beckham. But the, the narrative of that draft, and I remember it, the narrative of that draft is the Pistons wanted to I'm mean, excuse me, the, the Lions, they wanted, they wanted to move up. And take Sammy Watkins. That's what everybody was talking about. The Lions were salivating over Sammy Watkins. They was looking for Sammy Watkins that year. And they was going to move up and take Sammy Watkins. Well, Sammy Watkins has not had the career that people thought he would have. He ended up getting drafted by Buffalo. And having an injury play season. But he another guy that's in the Super Bowl. But that's who they wanted to draft that year. It was a lot of talk about the Lions moving up. Drafting Sammy Watkins out of Clemson. And he was injury prone at Clemson. You know, and they end up, they was looking for a pass catcher that year. They end up taking Eric Ebron. And everybody knew when they took Eric Ebron, it was a terrible pick. And the thing about that pick as well with Eric Ebron, they ran the they ran the card up super quick. I don't even think three minutes went off the clock. They ran the clock, clock up really quick. And I'm going to tell you this. You know what's so funny that compares to Ebron and TJ Hawkinson? Is that it was a rumor that the, uh, the Green Bay Packers wanted to draft Eric Ebron that year. And remember people saying it was a rumor that the, uh, the Green Bay Packers wanted to draft TJ, TJ Hawkinson this year. You know, and it was a rumor that the Lions and the Packers, the Packers might want to trade up to Lions to number 9 or 10 and take Ebron. You know, so like I said before, you know, just I don't know what it is with the Lions and tight ends. They cannot evaluate them. not saying that Hawkinson is a bad player, but Pettigrew and um, Pettigrew and um, you know, Ebron, you know, and they knew Ebron had a bad drop right that year. I mean, if you was looking at a pass catcher, Odell Beckham was there. You know what I'm saying? Jarvis Landry was in that draft. Aaron Donald. And, and, and like I said before, he said that's his biggest, his biggest, you know, mistake, not drafting that guy. But 
like I said, I just don't. I I, I really don't get it, man. I, I I legitimately could do a better job than Mayhew and, and Bob Quinn put together. Real talk, they terrible, man. But hey, I'll link that article in the description. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have business questions, private response, your video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Appreciate the love, support, mercy, sports talk. One time for the one time we gone.